Welcome to the Academia Nutcrackers tutorial on how to insert a landscape page into a document that consists of portrait pages. This video accompanies FAQ 1 of my book The Ultimate Guide to Writing Scientific Thesis using Word 2007. It can be found on page 30 of the ebook and page 31 of the printed paperback. So let's get started. I have prepared a document with one page of text and graphic in between. First, Move the cursor in front of the text that you want to place on the landscape page. In my example, I want the graphic to be on the separate page. Then select the Page Layout tab in the ribbon and click on the Breaks button. A menu that offers you a variety of options will appear. Select Next Page. The text after the cursor now has moved to a new page. This page is still portrait orientation though. To change this we basically need to repeat what we just did. Move the cursor behind the last bit of text that you want to appear on the landscape page. In my case that's right behind the graphic. Click on the breaks button again and select next page. Just like before the text behind the cur cursor moved to a new page. So far we have separated the content that we want on a landscape page from the other pages by introducing two section breaks. This is the prerequisite to change the orientation. Now place the cursor anywhere in the page that you want to appear in landscape. Click on the orientation button in the page layout tab. Select landscape. You're done. Now that you mastered the elaborate way of inserting a landscape page, I will show you how to do that with just a few clicks. I just opened a new document and I will select a text that I want to appear on the next on the landscape page. There are two ways now. Either you go to the page layout tab, click on the margin button and select custom margins. Or you can simply click on the dialog box launcher and both methods will open a page layout dialog. In this dialog, select the landscape orientation. Most importantly, select Select a text from the Apply to drop down menu. Click OK. And you're done. Now, why would I explain a tedious solution first when there's a much easier and faster way? Well, if you do it step by step, then you know what Word is doing automatically in the quick solution. In both scenarios, section breaks were created, resulting in three sections total. The middle section was formatted differently as landscape page. You can see the section breaks when you show formatting symbols. Either press the Control shift 8 or click on the Pilcrow, which is the Show Hide button in the Home tab. Understanding how what works behind the scenes is an important factor to understand why mistakes happen and how to avoid them. Sections are one of the most important features of a Word document and if you decide to follow my guide or tutorials you will come across them very frequently. Thank you for your interest in my tutorials.